Hey y'all, it's Kristen, and this is part four, I believe. We ended with this book right here. If you're just now watching these videos, this is part four of my old books that I'm showing, my book haul. And this is for Allison. Hi, Allison again. Okay. So, I have one more stack of books, I believe, and then I think that I'm going to be done. So, this one I found at my aunt's house. It's a Dick and Jane book. I love Dick and Jane. Um, the illustrations in this book are not as good as the original ones that came out. This is um, this was published in 1980, what, four? So, I mean, they're okay, but, you know, not quite as good. I mean, they're good. they're pretty good. So there's that, and this is a school book that I believe either I had or one of my sisters had back in elementary school, and this is from 1979, and I think it's a reader, yeah. It's one of the books we used to learn to read. All right, so there's that. This is a speller that I had in like, I don't remember what grade does it say. It was around 80, so that was like third or fourth grade or something. I'm not sure. So, it's a speller, and I so remember these lessons. I mean, we would have like these spelling words and then... Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. We had ten, and like there was three, and then some extra ones. Anyway, I just remember there were always like ten spelling words, and then some extras. But these are cool, and I can definitely use these in my chunk journals. I mean, I literally remember some of these pictures on these pages, like that elephant. Totally remember that, and that was a long time ago. So, this book is cool. Then I have this cookbook, Louisiana Legacy. It's where most of my family is. And this, I don't know. It's 1982, but it's an old cookbook. Really old cookbook. So, I can definitely use some of these pages. And Candy, I know you like these kind of cookbooks. So... It's pretty nifty. And then, okay, I have this big book of fun book. And it's a Growlier, so I think it went with all those, um, uh, you know what I mean, what I just showed, those other encyclopedias. I've actually already taken some of the pages out. This is pretty cool. It has, like, brain teasers and quizzes and, you know, um, this is some some stuff where my aunt wrote a note to my grandmother. I'm not well. <laughs> I thought, I'm not writing. I just want to, or I just want, I'm not, I don't know what she's trying to say. Anyway, it just has all kinds of little quizzes. It's supposed to be fun, you know. And it's really cool. So, shadow puppets. That's <laughs> learn how to make shadow puppets. I guess it's one of those rainy day books, you know? Kids are inside and they're driving you nuts, so you do cool things. My aunt says she loved to used to do those. Um, you know how you would have like three or four pictures in a row and you would have to figure out this, like what picture went first to make the story go in chronological order? You know what I'm talking about? She loved those. Okay, so this is this book. It's very cool. I'm pretty sure I've said that a lot. Oh, I think this is the book I was just talking about in the last video. Busy Day, Busy People. But I swear the book that I was talking about had animals. So maybe there's another one with animals. But look at this. 
I swear, y'all. I mean, you could sit there and look at that and then 30 minutes later still be finding crap you haven't looked at. Or I could anyway, back when I was younger. Heck, I still like to look at this stuff. Just people doing all kinds of things. Look at that. Each room, somebody's doing, they're doing something different. Surgery, and they're washing up, and... Is anybody else like that? I mean, it's almost like I go into a daze, or, you know... Oh, my. I'm gonna have to stop looking at this book. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. That's pretty cool. But, this book... Whoops. I almost tore it. The copyright is 1973. So, love that book. Okay, this book I just got recently to go in a botanical junk journal, North American Wildlife. And it's a Reader's Digest. The date, 1982, it looks like. But it's got some pretty good pictures in it. Look at that. I think I heard about this book from uh, Gina at the Rebookery. I think so. Look at there. Isn't that cool? And I either got this book on Amazon in the third uh, third party seller kind of thing, or I got it on eBay. I do not remember. So anyway, it's very cool. And then I got this. And I think I heard about this book from Tracy Fox. I know I did. I don't even want to say I think. I know I did. And this book, I haven't looked at it in a minute, so I'm going to have to look at it with you because I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Look at that fence. It's gorgeous. She was talking about this. She had it in one of her books. And she happened to mention the name. I was trying to find the date. I sure didn't see one when I was flipping through. Oh. Uh. 84. Looks like the last printed, last copyright date. But, if I'm not mistaken, this has some really cool pictures in it. Look at that. So, perfect for a junk journal. So thank you, Tracy. Look at that windmill. I don't know if this is the exact book she had, but I went by what she said in her video to find this book. Because, you know, we use the um, Edith Holden. Is that her name? I don't know why I always question myself. That Edith Holden book, and I was looking for other books that were beautiful to use. Also, oh, look at that. That is really pretty. I would love to be able to paint like that. Allison, I wish we lived closer. I mean, literally, I wish I just lived over in Ireland. That would be great. But, um, I wish we lived closer because I know you heard me earlier, but I really do want to learn how to art journal and do mixed media. Wow, these are really pretty. Okay. So, I believe, guys... Oh, there was one more thing that I wanted to show y'all. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Just a minute. Where is it? Oh. Hang on. Let me look right quick while we have just a minute. Here, I'm going to open the book to a cool page. That's not really cool, but I mean it is. But Just let me see if I can find this one thing. I should have looked for it before, but I forgot. It. No, that used to be my favorite book. I don't remember if I showed that. Where is it? Goodness, did I put it up like somewhere where it can't get broken? I swear, y'all. If y'all could see my room, I had a notebook that was my grandfather's when he was in. Um, school in high school I think and now I can't here it is I found it okay 
So, I'm pretty sure I showed this Golden Book Encyclopedia. It is a very cool book. I think Renee has one of these. And I'm almost positive that I already showed this, but I'm showing it again because I love it. I haven't torn into it yet because I've been using Renee's pages that she sent me. Hi, Renee. Um, the date is 1960. That was when this was done. So, it's a Golden Book Encyclopedia. Okay, before I show my grandfather's thing, and I don't, I can't remember if I showed his thing or not. First of all, this is some paper with CLD on it. That is my great uncle, I believe. This is like stationary, I guess, but it's very, very tissue papery. You know what I mean? I don't know what kind of paper that is. That's pretty cool. I don't know why I had it stuck in there. I guess because I didn't want it to mess up. This shopping book, I don't know if I've shown this. This was my one of my favorite books of all time. 75, 1975 is that. I could look at these pages forever. My grandmother used to read this book to me. I love it. And the last page is my, where they go and get the candy at the grocery store. And then they're leaving with their candy. That's just, I don't know. It made me happy. Okay. So, this, hopefully I haven't shown this. This was my grandfather's, it says period six, Dale Gray, leaf and flower booklet. And look, he actually put leaves, taped them. I'm going to hold it up so you can see how old this is. And I have been so careful with this. Some of this stuff's already fallen out, like before I got it, but the imprint of the leaf is still there. Can y'all, am I in frame? Okay. But I thought this was so cool. Look. He named them. It's just nifty, I'm telling ya. Larkspur, Nasturtium, Violet, English Dogwood. What kind of tape is this, is what I would like to know. Honeysuckle, Tuberose, Amaryllis, that's a white oak. I mean, these leaves, kind of wondering if he put something on them. But this is pretty nifty, y'all. All right. So I just wanted to show this. Just in case that says locust. Look, can you believe that that's still there? All right. I'm going to stop turning because I don't want anything else to fall out. Okay, y'all. This is it. I'm done with showing the books. I think I've shown everything new except for maybe a couple of Reader's Digest that I didn't get from over there. But, Allison, like I said, these videos were for you because I really, really appreciate you. And I can't wait for tomorrow when we do the epic haul. I'm so excited. Anyway. Thank you so very much, Allison, and you guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.